Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, Video 3, The Antenna. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730. If you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446, or if you're just catching me on the CB, it's the Red Squirrel, because this is, again, another of the Beginner's Guide to CB Radio, and this covering antenna or aerial, whichever you want to call it. So, there's a few here. Just ignore the one at the back, because... That's uh, an amateur radio aerial, that's not a CB aerial. So, you can't really have those on the CB, and I'll explain that in a later video. So, obviously the first one we've got is this. This is called Excalibur, and I highly recommend you don't use this, because it just takes a lot to get it working. If you can get it working at all, I've never had any joy with these, even though I actually am very knowledgeable so we can already rule that one out for base station use next one i've got there is base station i will just knock that up is this really big silver thing and that one is a serio gpe 58 it's very big i can't remember exactly how big but it is quite big and I've never used it because I've never really been able to put it up because planning permission for something that size. So, although the, the Silver Rod and the Antron 99 are two popular base station type aerials that are quite are quite common, and usually both of those are highly recommended. Though I've not had any experience with the Antron 99 or just basic Silver Rod CB aerials. Right, so if we come on to the next aerial I've got here without knocking other ones over. This one, although it's from my my Boomerang base station aerial, which I will put a link to at the top of the screen, this is sometimes sold under names such as Super Flexi, although I fail to see how because it's not really flexible in any way. It's basically what you've got is, you can see there's a, there's a wire just wound around the inside of that underneath some plastic into a coil at the top which is covered in the same piece of plastic to this metal bit that sticks out and there's a little screw there for making adjustments to it so that's uh, you can use that on a car but that's actually part of my boomerang base station aerial so there is that a very similar sort of style without knocking other aerials over because I've knocked a few aerials over so far is bring it into focus this one I'm not sure what this one's called on its own but you can buy these but again it's a similar sort of thing and it's quite rigid so it's not something I would recommend putting on the roof of a car especially if you're going to be driving under low branches and things Similar sort of thing, except to make the adjustment, if I can get this red cap off. <coughs> make sure that's not coming off, because that's necessary to make sure it's not going to untune itself. That's where you'd make the adjustment. So I do use this as part of the boomerang antenna. It's the bottom section of that. So there's a screw in the top which you would turn to adjust it under the red cap. The most popular car CB aerial that I know of is this one. This is Springer, Stinger, or Orbiter style. Thunderpole's name for it is Orbiter. It's reasonable size. It does the job. I've never had any problem with this, and I'd happily buy more of them for other people if they wanted wanted a CB radio putting in their car or I'd recommend this to them. This is a very popular one and I actually recommend it for beginners. So I'm going to put that to one side. Then we have this one. It's just knocking the other aerial it's tangled with there. So we've got this one here which is called a dialer match. It's not a very long 
aerial in the grand scheme of things. So it doesn't look too obvious on the roof of your car. It has two adjustment points on it. So when you come to adjust it, which I will explain in a later video, there's the grub screw there and then these, these two tuning rings, which you just turn up and down like that. And then when you've got it in the right place, you twist them together to do that. So, and again, it will fit the same sort of mounts as the other aerials. So, if you want something that doesn't look too, too unweirdly or draw any attention, this one, this one's a good choice. Although it's not as long as the rest of them. And there goes one falling on the floor. So, the last one I've got that would fit onto the roof of a car, which I can't say I highly rate, is this one. I haven't actually done a proper review on this one yet. This one is called the PNI Extra 48. It looks like a car stereo aerial. It's not, though. It is a CB aerial, and it's more or less designed for the European set of frequencies, so not really ideal unless you're planning on travelling into a European country, for the most part, with your CB radio. It's got a magnet in the bottom, that's there, which will just stick to the roof of the car. And the cable on it's quite thin, but I'm not going to worry too much about that for CB. So we've got another one that's also not too obvious or sticky out. <coughs> and it's this. This is an on glass type CB radio aerial. Now there's a grub screw at the bottom here, as you can see. And if you go further up, there is a hole there where there should be a grub screw, but I have misplaced the grub screw. And then it has this piece at the top with this rather fetching little, little metal ball on the end. So this would stick to, to a window on your car using a sticky pad. This sticky pad has no sticky left on it at all and would need replacing if I was going to try and use that again. So that would stick to the window. And on the other side of the window, you would have this little box with a cable, two cables coming off it. This one goes to the radio, that one goes to some, some piece of metal somewhere on your car. So, it looks like a mobile phone aerial. The only difference is it's actually a CB aerial and sticks to your car window rather than than goes on your car's roof. Now, that's just come out because obviously I've not got the grub screw at the moment. So I'd have to get another one of the grub screws if I was going to test that. I've not properly tested this aerial. The last time this aerial was ever used was actually on a single glazed window at my previous address until it fell off. And then one of the neighbours had the kindness to leave it outside the door for me after that happened. So, focus on the right thing. So, yeah, that just sticks to your car window. It's actually quite clever. I don't think they're that great in terms of uh, transmission and reception, but they should do the job if you can't really do anything else. Say your uh, vehicle's made like um, of, out of fiberglass or something, that would probably be a good choice. <coughs> However, if you've got a steel roof vehicle, the aerial would just screw into something like this. This is just a large magnet. Now I'll grab one of the shorter aerials to show you this. Because if I grab one of the big ones, what's going to happen is it's going to um, uh, not go very well. So that would just screw into there, like that. That's all that does, screws into there. And then what you do is you put that on the roof of your car. Simple as that. So I'll take that out of that now. And there, that's it. The look at aerials. Now, as I said... The aerial I recommend for any use for a beginner on CB radio in the car will always be this one here. 
will always be the Stinger Springer Orbiter-esque style aerials. So I've got this spring at the bottom, which you, it does actually move like that. It's got this really flexible actual aerial section at the top, and you can snag it on low tree branches or anything, and it will still survive. So bring that back into focus, I think. That's gone out of focus now. That's nice. There we go. Focus on that. So that's your aerial there. This one looks a bit scruffy because my significant other and I painted it white. Because we turned it into a home base antenna for a while. But that was before I got the boomerang one. Which the base for, I'll actually show you that. It's just... There, you can see that little black thing there. I won't explain too much about that. But as you can see, it's got two bits where you screw those two aerials that I've got down there. So, oh, that's been somewhat informative and helpful. Recommendation for a base station aerial. If you can put a full-size one up, I would probably recommend an Antron 99 or a silver rod type. So I've heard good things about Antron 99s anyway. I've not known anyone to have any problems with those or even a basic uh, dipole. I've got a dipole, but it's not for CB, so I can't really show you that. Um, if you want something for your car, I recommend the the Springer or Orbiter style as a basic starter CB radio aerial. And in the next video, I'll show you how to connect the aerial to the radio. So, 1010 or 73. Until the next one.